The red dane tip of the month is artificial insemination. First thing you do is you bring in the heifer or cow that has been heat spotted on standing heat 12 hours previously. You restrain her in a good crush, trying to keep her as calm as possible. Make sure for AI that you are wearing a clean arm length plastic glove. Take the temperature of the water and the semen thawing device. It should be 2 degrees lower than a cow's normal body temperature, which is 38 degrees. So your semen thawing device needs to be at 36, as this is the temperature that semen would be in in a bull. If the temperature is above 36, add a little cold water. As long as it's between 35 and 36, you're okay. The next thing you need to do is look at the animal's records. Find the bull and the type of semen that needs to be used. On our first inseminations, we use sexed semen. If the cow or heifer does not take the first time, we use convention on the next inseminations. You have to make sure that the arrangement of all your equipment is correct. You need a thermometer for checking the water temperature. You need a tweezer for retrieving the semen straw from the flask. And you need your AI gun, your straw cutter, your AI sheets, and the paper towel to cover your gun before insemination. You also need a type of lubricant. Milking salve works well as a lubricant. Knowing which straw you need to select, you do so with your tweezers, taking care not to lift the canister above the nitrogen tank in your flask. Do not use your fingers to remove the straw, as this will prematurely thaw the semen. You place your semen straw immediately into the thaw machine and close the flask straight away to prevent any liquid nitrogen being wasted. You need to set the timer on your thaw machine to 30 seconds, as this is the minimum time required for thawing. Whilst the straw is thawing, you warm up the AI gun by rubbing it with cotton wool so that the sperm do not receive a shock when the straw is placed in the gun. You can test the temperature of your gun is correct by placing it against your cheek, where it should feel pleasantly warm. If it is too hot, it will kill the semen. Remove the straw from the thawing device and wipe it to remove any water, and then place it in your gun. You must use a straw cutter to cut off the end of the semen straw. Straw cutters are recommended above scissors because they give a straight, even cut. You now place your clean new AI sheath over the gun and you can push in the gun a little bit at the bottom to test if your semen is there. Once you are satisfied that your semen is present, you cover the gun with your paper towel to avoid any contamination of the straw and also to protect the semen from the sun. Apply some of your chosen lubricant to your glove and head to the heifer. Insert your gloved hand with the lubricant into the rectum. You may need to pet your cow or heifer gently during this process to keep her as calm as possible. Wipe the vulva clean before inserting the gun. Open the lips of the vulva and insert the gun at a 45 degree angle. This angle is very important because it avoids pushing the gun into the bladder. Look for the cervix with your gloved hand so that you can bring the mouth of the cervix to the end of your gun. You now need to pass the gun through the three rings of the cervix. Manipulate the cervix to allow the gun to pass through all three rings. Make sure that you remain calm and focused at all times. You are now looking for the body of the uterus, which is just after the third ring of the cervix and where you want to deposit the semen. To check if your gun is in the uterus, use your index finger of your gloved hand to feel for the tip of the AI gun. Even if the heifer moves, make sure you keep the gun in position. Once you are in the uterus, the gun should be very stable. 
you can let go of it and it will not fall down. When you are sure it is in the correct place, slowly deposit the semen by pushing in the end of the AI gun, which should take around five seconds. Again, even if the heifer moves, make sure the gun stays in position and that you keep depositing slowly. Make sure that no manure enters the vulva at any point. Once you have deposited all of the semen, you can remove the gun and your hand. You can also massage the vulva to stimulate the cow, as it is thought that this helps with successful insemination. Remove any heat detection stickers that you might have in place for, in preparation for the heifers or the cows next service. Ensure that you clean yourself up properly, especially if you will be serving another animal after this one. Finally, you need to record the heifer or cow number, the date and time of service, the insemination number, and the bull that you used.